very good thing. I think that where we live in People sometimes ask me, yeah, hey Chad, what's your music about? And that's the thing. I don't know. Even I don't know what my music's about. I just sort of use my mind and put out there what I think the world needs to hear without knowing why. The thing about Chad is like, his mind just functions in this way that's like totally out of the ordinary and weird. Like, I, I don't even understand Chad. It's like, he's, his music, it just touches me. And it's, it's so empowering. I'm, I'm, he's such a talented guy. He's such a good musician. Chad's music just, it really speaks to you, you know? Sometimes, even though you don't really know what he's saying, you just, you get it. I'm so jealous of him because I'll never be like Chad, and it's been an honor to work alongside Chad because he's such a brilliant musician. Ah, uh, the Beatles, Jay-Z, Kangaroos, we should all have ponies. It's actually not, it's actually crazy. I don't even know what it's about. Like, I've been trying to figure that out, you know? Years of thinking, cognitive thought, trying to figure out, like, Hey, what's the significance of stars in the universe? I don't know. Ponies are nice. Ponies can get you places. Very mad ponies. The world would be a nice place because it would be. I asked Cadbury. They didn't know. See the sign. Can't help shake the feeling that the eighties never existed. Like a many towers organized religion. Think about it. Doomsday. Everyone knows the world was better when we had ponies instead of cars. And I just can't wait to see what he does next. <laughs>